People ask me constantly why I love Star Wars Rebels so much, despite my dislikeness of the Clone Wars series. Easy. Rebels looks, sounds and feels like classical Star Wars. The characters and the story has so much more to offer than the prequels could possibly give you. There are so many hints to the expanded universe in Rebels and if you watch and listen carefully to the narrative given in the series, you can easily discover them for yourself. I've already made the Dash Renderers canon video, which starts with material from Rebels Season 2. It shows that not every expanded universe aspect is extinct. And now we have even more. In the new Rebels teaser, we're not only introduced to a young Princess Leia, but to a couple of some familiar looking space cruisers. Ezra even refers to them with something like Holy sh**, our reinforcements are some old f transports? Or something like that. And that is not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. Veterans of the Old Republic franchise will of course remember those. The Hammerhead class cruiser, used by the Republic Navy 4000 years prior to Star Wars Rebels. And that should be a very good sign for the Knights of the Old Republic fans. Branded as legends. Formerly known as Expanded Universe, which means it could have happened, who knows, might be canon now. By the way, do you recognize this? You do? Alright, then you might also remember what this thing does with the sun, right? But let's just wait a little more for the upcoming Rebels episode first. If there are more clues to prove the point or counter it, I'll let you know. Go watch Star Wars Rebels. It is pure Star Wars awesomeness. Besides, who doesn't want to own the ghost? This ship is like the love child of the Millennium Falcon and the Serenity. And no, for fuck's sake, you don't need to know Clone Wars to enjoy Rebels. Who does know Clone Wars in detail anyway? As far as I know, the Episodes are not even in the right order. I'm not even kidding. There it is, on the official Star Wars website. The first episode is in Season 2, the second in Season 1, then the movie from Clone Wars, and then off to Season 3 for the next episode. But frankly, that wouldn't be a problem for me at all if I really wanted to watch it. It is just that one big thing I honestly cannot handle. Yoda. This very old and illuminate being, holder of wisdom, calm and patient, using a f lightsaber. And if you need any explanation why this is stupid, then this is apparently not the right video for you. A lightsaber in Yoda's hands would be like giving a shotgun to the Dalai Lama. That doesn't fit at all, my friends. So what do you think about this? Write me in the comments.